South Africa currently faces a two-fold energy challenge. Um, first, it does not have enough power generating capacity to meet its growing electricity demand. And secondly, power generation in South Africa is very much based on burning of coal, which means, uh, which makes the power system one of the most carbon intensive uh, in the world. Now, at the same time, uh, globally and also within South Africa, over the last two to three years, uh, renewable energies um, such as solar and wind uh, power generating technologies became cost competitive compared to alternative new build options. This is why our researchers here at the CSR are working on new ways to optimally design, build and operate um, energy systems that are primarily based on renewable energy sources. This is why we have started to implement an energy autonomous campus here at our Pretoria headquarters, which we will expand to other CSR sites across the country. And we are also reaching out to other research organizations, universities, to eventually make this program a virtual power plant that is spanning across the country. As a first building block, the CSR implemented a one hectare solar PV installation here in Pretoria on our main campus. Solar PV stands for Solar Photovoltaic and that's a technology that converts sunlight directly into electricity. The construction of this plant started on the 1st of June 2015 and the plant got grid connected in the last week of August after less than three months of construction time. The solar PV system here on our campus is a so-called single access tracker system which means the modules are tracking the movement of the sun during the day from east to west. This way the total energy yield of this plant is increased 15 to 20 percent compared to a system where the modules are mounted in a fixed tilt manner. Energy yield means that's the total amount of electricity that this plant produces over a certain period, let's say over a year for example. The electricity that this PV plant produces feeds directly into the CSR campus grid and supplies our own demand. It is enough electricity to power approximately 200 middle-income South African households. The solar PV system saves the CSR approximately 1 million rand per year in electricity payments and that is a number that is increasing due to the fact that electricity tariffs over the next approximately five years are still expected to further increase above inflation in the country. The solar PV plant will generate these annual savings over at least the next 25 years, which is the minimum expected life of the PV plant. The cost of electricity production from this plant over the entire lifetime is approximately 83 cents per kilowatt hour, which is highly competitive to any alternative uh, new build option for new power generators. The sophisticated substructure of this plant, which allows the modules to track the sun from morning to evening, um, including the monitoring and the control system, are 100% South African designed and manufactured. The entire system was set up and constructed by three very experienced South African companies who have been in the renewables business for the last couple of years. One of the research questions that we are trying to answer during the operation of the plant is to find an optimal cleaning procedure and optimal cleaning frequency for the panels of this plant. The cleaning is important because dust that settles on the panels reduces the ability of the panels to absorb the sun energy and convert it into electricity. On the other hand, cleaning the modules comes at a cost. It doesn't, it doesn't come for free, so we have to balance the cleaning of the modules with the additional energy that we can get after we have uh, cleaned the modules and that is uh, something that we have to optimize. We are also developing a training program not only for this PV plant but for all PV plants that we are installing on the campus where we will train engineers and technicians in the design, the installation and the operations of solar plants. This facility has in two and a half months since its grid connection already generated a quarter of a million kilowatt hours, reducing CSIR's carbon footprint by approximately 250 tons of CO2. On an annual basis, we are expecting a reduction in our carbon footprint by 1,200 tons of CO2 per year.